Why, hello everyone. Baseball update, a very analytical video about baseball. For those of you who have purchased the MLB algorithm, you're looking at how this thing works. Uh, I did fully update it today and get all the rosters straightened out and the pitchers. I had a pretty good day. It went 12 and 6, but it also uses different distributions um, of variables. And I built a macro in this file to help test those distributions. And I tested them out today. Let me, let me talk about which distributions we're looking at right here. So within this matchup sheet, there's a percentage that's attached to a different statistic. Uh, up here, we had, uh, this is what I, I did a video this morning and I, I put out projections with a certain number of uh, percentages for each of these variables. It was combo number 37 meaning I have a list of 500 different combinations of different variables. In this one, it ranks 8% on innings pitched per game, 10% on the pitcher's whip. That's um, something about hits and innings pitched and something like that, some stat there. 10% on ERA, 50% on the lineup factor of the team, 10% on the bullpen ERA, 10% on BAPIP, which is batting stat. Um, 1% on average runs for, 1% on average runs allowed. So this was combo number 37. Well, that's just one out of 500 different combinations. When you go to run the macro in this file, um, which you just need to run it after you clear out this T cube sheet, there's an area here where I just ran the macro and it pasted it all here. But if you clear this out, clear out the T cube sheet so there's nothing there, you can then go view, macro, view, macro, and you run this copy data to testing cube thing. You press run here. And all the different combinations will run and they will automatically paste itself. It takes about, takes about 10 minutes, I think, about to run this with 500 different combinations. And when it's done, you can refresh this T cube pivot sheet and you get a list of the best combinations up at the top. That's the way I have this pivot table set up. There's all these different combinations. What do I mean by that? Like, what am I talking about? Well, there were, there were eight different combinations. That looks like somebody, somebody just bought one of these. Uh, actually somebody paid an invoice. They didn't buy one of these, uh, but more people will buy this because baseball is a, a big algorithm for the summer. So um, there are, uh, eight different combinations that, that won 14 games. That's what this means here. They were combo number 277, combo number 390, combo number 107, combo number 72. Like, what does all that mean? Like, what are you talking about? Can combo numbers? Well, take a look at this. We're going to go to the matchup sheet. And instead of number 37 up here, we're going to put in 277. Because combo 277 was this one that, that supposedly was one of the best ones. Well, what does that look like? It looks like this. It changes the projections of all the games. You can see that all these stats, all these percentages just changed, right? They, they looked like this before, and now they look like this, okay? It lowered bullpen ERA factor, it lowered BAPIP, lineup factor was lower, it put more on innings pitch, pitcher whip, ERA, changed things around, and it also changed all the projections around. So let's go into the day pivot sheet and refresh, and this is what combo 277 looked like. Instead of going 12 and 6, it goes 14 and 4. And it's also important to look at where the winners were. Now, this is only spring training, and I mean, spring training, we shouldn't put a lot of faith into what it's coming out of spring training because nothing really makes a lot of sense in spring training, but it is still nice to see this. Now you've got three wins up top, three wins, and then a bunch of wins, right? Well, that's really good. Well, what about the other combinations? Because you're trying to figure out what combination should you use tomorrow when, when you're looking at this. Well, what did combo 390 do? Let's go look at 390. Let's go then refresh the day pivot sheet. And it's very similar here, right? 
So we're having trouble getting Miami to beat Washington and getting Detroit to beat Toronto and getting Baltimore, whose owner died, 94-year-old Peter Angelos died today, actually, Baltimore's owner, uh, somebody we, we know pretty well here in the D.C. metro area. Um, we can't seem to get these teams to win with those combinations. Let's try combo 107, see how that one did. And also, as you're looking through these combinations, you also want to pay attention, well, what are these percentages that are changing up here? You know, what are they doing? And and which ones seem to be more relevant? Let's refresh here. Yeah, it's all kind of about the same with, with these three teams. It's having trouble moving them, but it's winning a lot of the other games. Well, that's kind of how you, when you run the macro, you get a look at the best distributions. The other thing you can look at is here are all of those distributions. They're in the combos sheet. And I'm going to label them by sorting them by number. Actually, no, we can sort them by today's wins. Here's This is the cool way to do it. You sort descending by today's wins, and you're going to get those numbers, 299, 277. So these are going to be, we're going to call it spring training. Whoops, spring training. Spring training, 323 winners. So we're going to start to name these combinations so that we can look back at them in subsequent days to see which which ones were just one-off accidents, you know, where they had a good day and which ones are consistently doing better than other combination strings. So tomorrow when I update this, I'll run the macro again and we'll see if any of these combinations end up filtering their way to the top. But this is why this algorithm is just the greatest, the greatest predictive model ever created. I mean, I... I I often refer to these algorithms as the greatest ever. And I don't really get called on it because even if they don't win, then usually the odds makers get it wrong too. It's one of those things where you can't predict every single game in sports, but you can certainly utilize all the information that's available to make educated decisions. And that's definitely what this does. So I'll call it a successful day here on... Um, really the second or third day, second day that I've created here for spring training. You can purchase a copy of this and get emails from me with an updated version every day from now until April 15th as I roll this thing into the new year and get all the new stats in and test out combinations and give you everything you need to bet because I'm not betting, but you can, <laughs> but I am not. So just getting it done for the next few weeks for everybody who's asking me questions about it. And I wanted to do a video here about the macro because the macro is really helpful. All right, so that's baseball. Uh, there's also a college basketball, of course, going up. James Madison, great game, beating Wisconsin. Excellent team, very good team. I can't wait to watch Duke play uh, James Madison tomorrow. That's gonna be a fun one and I'll be rooting for JMU. So we'll see what happens. All right, enjoy all the algorithms. Good luck, May all your picks be winning. And go purchase a copy of the MLB algorithm if you want to support this and have a copy for yourself. Because I unlock all this. You can teach you how to use it. There are many people that have bought these for me years ago, and then they never buy them again because they just start updating it themselves. Um, I know I, I price myself out of recurring clients in a lot of ways because you don't need me anymore once you have the file. That's okay. Good. Enjoy it. Learn something about sports. Learn something about Microsoft Excel. Learn how I've adopted my methodology of programming to make these things the, the best that have ever been made. Because, you know, when I drop dead, I will, you'll be like, he was the guy who made all the algorithms and they were good. <laughs> That's what you'll say. Yeah. All right, good luck. Now your picks be waiting. See you, oh man, but everything's so slow. This is a big file. It's really, really processes a lot, but uh, when you run that macro, it's it slows the computer down.